Support Name Explain on Patreon for ad-free videos, exclusive podcasts and blog posts, and to help choose what names get explained. Click the link in the description. The human race seems to adore animals. From loyal canine companions, felines that are kind enough to choose to live with us, horses that provided transport for our ancestors, to tortoises just being there really I guess. Wherever you find humans, other animals probably wouldn't be too far behind. So it's no surprise really that we have named entire parts of our planet after animals, from towns and cities, regions, to entire countries. The names of animals crop up in the names of places way more than you might initially expect them to. So just to make things a bit more fun, I want to try and find places covering at least one of each class of animal. I'm sure you know what the classes of animals are. They're the main way we break up different kinds of animals. The general consensus is that there are six main classes which all animals fit into, these being mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and fish. As for the sixth kind, well, there's some debate. I've seen people call the sixth class invertebrates, anthropods, insects, bugs, I'm sure you know the kind of animal I'm talking about. Basically anything with more than four legs. The aim is to find at least one place featuring the name of an animal from each of these classes. So with that in mind, let's take a look at some places named after animals. As the title of this video implies, we have 10 countries named after animals. Well, kind of, as in some of them are only kind of named after animals, and some of them are only kind of countries. However, I want to cover other geographic places named after animals too, some being super obvious and some not as obvious. A more accurate name for this video would be a handful of places of the world that are named after animals or kind of named after animals, but let's be honest, that doesn't sound as clickable and how does it? And just some additional ground rules, we are looking into places named after animals, not animals named after places, so there will be no mention of Labrador or Turkey in this video I'm afraid. But we have covered those names in the past so check them out. And speaking of being covered in previous videos, many of the names mentioned in this video have been covered in previous videos, so if you've already heard them then thanks for sticking around. Let's start with some of the more obvious ones, such as Cape Cod, a peninsula in the southeast of the US state of Massachusetts. The picturesque New England coastline here is synonymous with this part of the world, perhaps most linked with the novel slash film Jaws. The name was given to the peninsula thanks to the English explorer Bartholomew Gosnold in 1602. When he arrived at the Cape, he noticed the huge abundance of cod in its waters, so blessed it with the name Cape Cod. And from the sound of things, Cod are still pretty commonplace here today too. In Cornwall, here in the UK, we have Lizard Point, which is actually the southernmost tip of the island of Great Britain. But despite the animal-based name, it isn't actually named after lizards. Cornwall actually has its own language, Cornish, and in this language, Liz means place and Ard means high. So the name means high place. This is because the place, as well as being southern, is rather high up too. So it's actually just a coincidence that the name sounds like the word lizard we use for the reptiles in English. For obvious bird-based names, two come to mind. The first being Pigeon Island. There are many places named Pigeon Island across the globe, from islands in St Lucia to Australia to New Zealand to Sri Lanka, all named because of their abundance of pigeons. Those flying rats really do get everywhere. The other, however, is the state capital of the US state of Arizona, with it being called Phoenix. Okay, so it's named after a mythical bird, but a bird nonetheless. The myth that surrounds phoenixes is that when they die in a burst of flames, they rise again as a chick from the ashes of their former self. A phoenix rising from the ashes is a metaphor we hear of all the time, and it was the metaphor that inspired the naming of this city, as the city of Phoenix was built on the destroyed remains of a former city there. As for bug based names, well I found two in the USA, one of those being the small town of Fly in Ohio. It seems however that wasn't named exactly after the annoying bugs, but rather the name Fly was chosen because it's easy and quick to pronounce and say, which is actually a completely valid reason to name somewhere. However, it's back to Arizona for the next one, and that's with the ghost town of Bumblebee, which was supposedly named this because explorers found the local tribe there huddled together in thick, compact formations, like bumblebees in a hive. They said the tribe were as thick as bumblebees, and the insect's name was applied to the town. Now, however, as I mentioned, it lays abandoned as a ghost town. The next two places quite clearly have an animal in their name, however they aren't actually named after the animal you may obviously think they're named after. The first of those being the Canary Islands. These islands of the coast of Africa might seem pretty obviously named after the popular mining bird. However, the birds were named after the islands. But Patrick, I hear you say, you explicitly said we aren't looking at animals named after places. Well, while the Canary birds were named after the Canary Islands, the islands were named after a different animal. The name is widely believed to come from the Latin Canalia 
insulae, which means islands of the dogs. The Romans called these islands this as they were swarming with dogs when they first got there. The islands are named after dogs and in turn the birds are named after the islands. The second unexpected animal place name is the Bay of Pigs in Cuba. Of course history buffs will know of this place all too well and the failed invasion of the island nation that started in this bay. However aside from this important moment in history, it is an actual place. However something that the Bay of Pigs is unfortunately lacking in is pigs. The bale pig is not named after the kind of pig you are most likely thinking of. In Cuba, this bay is called Baja de Cochinos, with Cochinos being a Spanish word for pigs. In Cuba, however, this word is also used as a name for a type of fish, more commonly known as trigger fish. They use this word for pigs as the name for this fish because they thought the fish had pig-like snouts. So the pigs in the bale pigs refers to a type of fish. So it's named after an animal, just not the one you may have expected expected it to be named after. As for places named after animals that aren't as clear in their name, at least in English anyway, we have the island of Capri off the coast of Italy. This name is thought to come from one of two possible animals. It could either come from the Latin capra meaning goat or the Greek kaplos meaning boar. So either way it's named after some kind of animal. These names must have been applied to it due to these animals being on the island when it was first encountered. A kind of confusing name origin is with the Galapagos Island off the coast of Ecuador. This kind of seems to be an egg and chicken type scenario. The island was named after the tortoises, but it seems that the tortoises were also named after the island, as they are known as Galapagos tortoises. It seems that Galapagos was an old Spanish word for tortoise, so the tortoise for island was branded with the word when it was discovered by the Spanish. However, this word of Galapagos was also an old Spanish word for a type of saddle, and apparently the tortoises shells the Spanish saw reminded them of these saddles, so they named the reptile after the saddle and then named the island after the reptile. Like I said, it's confusing. Let's move away from South America and instead head to the Arabian Peninsula with the capital of the UAE, Abu Dhabi. This name is believed to translate into father of the gazelle. It's thought to be named after the gazelle that once grazed where the city now stands. And the infamous island in San Francisco, Alcatraz, has a name that derives from animals too. Despite the image this island has shaped to itself with its prison, the name isn't as scary. It comes from Spanish and means island of the pelicans, as the island was full of pelicans. With the prison no longer in use and the island labelled as a nature reserve for birds and wildlife, the name is seemingly much more fitting once again. Okay, so what about those 10 countries named after animals that this whole video is named after? Well, let's kick things off with Panama. This Central American nation is thought to be named after one of two animals. The name is thought to either mean abundance of fish or abundance of butterflies. Very different animals I know, but it seems that when this nation was discovered by Europe, there were lots of these animals in the area, so much so that the nation was named after them. South of Panama in South America we have Uruguay. This nation is named after the river that runs through it, the Uruguay River. However, this river's name is thought to either mean river of the painted birds or river of the snails. Once again, two very different kinds of animals, but I suppose both snails and birds do make their homes by rivers. Another country named after a river named after an animal is Cameroon in Africa. This titular river is now called the River Uruguay. However, when the Portuguese got to the land, they named this river Rio dos Camaloes, which means river of prawns, as many prawns were found to be living in this river. The latter part of this name, which means prawns, was anglicized into Cameroon, as the name still stands to this day. So weirdly enough, this nation's name kind of just means prawns. Another African nation is Mali, and there are a couple ideas as to what this name means. Though one of these ideas relates to the Bambara language, a native tongue to this part of the world and lingua franca of the nation, despite French being the official language. In Bambara, the word Mali means hippopotamus, as in the huge water-dwelling mammals. The reason why the nation is thought to be named after hippos comes from a legend surrounding Sundiata Kita, the founder of the Mali Empire. The legend goes that upon his death, he turned into a hippopotamus and continues to live in the nation's waters to this day in that form. And speaking of huge African mammals, the Ivory Coast is also named after an animal, 
well, a part of an animal anyway. This nation has this name as when it was under French rule, a huge source of income here was with the trade and export of ivory, aka elephant tusks. Like I said, it is named after a part of an animal. And finally for Africa, we have Sierra Leone, which means Lion Mountains. This name was first given to an actual mountain range in the nation, before it was applied to the entire nation. These mountains were given this name by the Portuguese, and I have read a couple reasons as to why. One being because the thunder heard above the mountain sounded like the roar of a lion, and the other being because Portuguese explorers actually heard lions roaring from the mountains. So whichever one is true, the name relates to sound rather than sight, which is rather unique unto itself. Another country slash city state named after lions is Singapore. The name means Lion City, and derives from a legend where the founder of the kingdom of Singapore sighted a lion in a spot where he started his kingdom. Though like I said, this is primarily a myth as lions aren't native to the island. Another kind of island nation named after an animal is the Faroe Islands. I say kind of island nation as they are actually a part of the kingdom of Denmark. However, they aren't named after an animal quite as magnificent as a lion. Instead, they're named after sheep. The name Faroe derives from Old Norse and means sheep islands, as when the Vikings got there, the islands were covered with sheep. And another place named after an animal is Kosovo, which yes, I know is argued whether it is or not a country, and I'm sure many of you have a word or two to say about it down in the comments. But what is agreed upon, however, is how the name came about, and that's that the name means Field of Blackbirds, referencing the battlefield of the 1389 Battle of Kosovo. And finally, we have the nation of Spain. Now, Spain's name isn't 100% clear to us as to where it comes from. We know it, of course, comes from the Latin Hispania, but further from that, things get a little confusing. One idea, however, is that means Island of Hyraxes, with a Hyrax being a type of small mammal. The story goes that when Carthaginians visited the land, they spotted rabbit, an animal they had never seen before. It reminded them of the Hyraxes they had at home, and as they thought this new land was an island, they called it the Island of Hyraxes, despite the fact it isn't really an island and that they weren't really Hyraxes. Either way, the name has stuck around. And that's 10 countries and many other places named after animals, and we successfully found at least one place named after a member of each class of animal. Except one. I couldn't find it anywhere named after amphibians. No Frog Creek or Newt City or Salamander Bays to be found. Let me know if there's a really obvious one I missed out on, and let me know about any other animal inspired place name that I may have missed out on. Places named after animals was suggested by Kent Durkex's son and thanks to their suggestion, they will now be honoured as Name Explains patron saint of places named after animals. Do you have a good idea for somewhere that's name could be covered in a Name Explained video? If so, then please consider donating on Patreon. Just $1 a month helps keep the channel running and earns you a weekly chance to suggest somewhere to be turned into a video, and you too could be a Name Explain Patreon saint. Thank you to all my patrons who support Name Explain on a monthly basis. Patreon is vital to Name Explain, and donating just $2 a month allows you to enjoy ad free videos and bonus patron exclusive content. It also allows you to help choose what names get explained in upcoming videos and gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you so much for all the support you guys give Name Explain. Hello all and thank you so much for reaching the end of the video. Check out another video and subscribe to stay in the loop on all things Name Explain. You can find me on Twitter, I'm at NameExplainYT. On Instagram, I'm also NameExplainYT. And on Facebook, just search Name Explain. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and once again, thank you all so much.